Um, now, Old Time Beaver is our next up talent. Please, Old Time Beaver. Oh, look at her. Gaily dressed. Ladies and gentlemen, gentle beavers, one last time we give a warm welcome to Old Time Beaver, who, in her most uh, moist, solemn appearance, will deliver the Ellerby Address. We want you to give special attention to the extraordinary evening where she is honoring us with tonight. This unique and historic gown was handed down from generation to generations of antique beavers, from Grandma Mosses to Mary Todd Lincoln Logs. This exquisite gown has rattled the timbers of many a beaver boy in his bog. Well now, hear you, hear you? Lend thee an ear to old time beaver as we heed her slapping beaver call for preservation, dedication, and solemn contemplation for beavers everywhere. So, old time beaver, what are you doing to protect your wetlands in the time of drought? Well, it just so happens I have an address right here called the Ellerby Address to answer this very question. Four score and seven dental dams ago, our mother and father beavers brought forth on this continent a new nation of beavers conceived in Lagati and dedicated to the proposition that all beavers are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great uncivil drought testing whether that beaver or any beaver so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met near a great stream of that drought. We have come to dedicate a portion of that stream as a final resting place for those beavers who've lost their teeth and their lives to the drought and for surviving the beaver nation so that they might live. It is not altogether gnawing that we would do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, for we cannot masticate the logs. The brave beavers living and dead who lost their teeth in the drought and everyone knows that when a beaver loses just one tooth the beaver will die the brave beavers have consecrated it far above our poor power to dam or redam the world will little, little note nor long remember what we say here. But it can never forget what the beavers can no longer chew here. It is for the living beavers, rather, to dedicate ourselves to the unfinished work to advance the noble dam. It is for us to advance the great task remaining before us that from these honored toothless dead, we take increased devotion to end the drought as they gave their last full measure of devotion to this cause. And we resolve that these beavers did not lose their teeth in vain. <laughs> we further resolve that a new damn nation a damnation, a damnation under the beaver god shall have a new freedom and that a damnation of the beaver by the beaver and for the beaver shall not perish from the stream.
old-time beaver.